What's up, readers? Welcome back to the Meridian. Got another review. I just filmed my review for the 12, book 2, in the Passage Trilogy. <clears throat> and I was going to wait a couple days to do a review on book 3, but I figured since I just talked about it, it made me want to talk about book 3. So, I will be reviewing The City of Mirrors by Justin Cronin, the final book in the Passage Trilogy. So, I just finished this one, I don't know, three days ago, two or three days ago. And I was going to make a video right after I finished and maybe talk about the whole trilogy, but I figured I'd just keep this to, you know, one review per book. So, The City of Mirrors. Going into it, I had no idea where this book was going to take me. I mean, I knew that it was going to be wrapped up somehow, the whole series. But after the events of the second book... I was really stumped on where this one would go and how it would play out. But I was not let down. It was a very good book. It was a very good conclusion to the trilogy. It had a very solid ending. I was satisfied with the conclusion, with the ending. Uh, I didn't feel cheated or anything like that. He ended it very strongly, and it was a pretty good conclusion to the whole story as a whole. I mean, the whole narrative. Yeah, I mean, like I said, going into it after book two, I wasn't sure where this one was going to take me. It didn't take me anywhere I thought it would, which is kind of what the whole trilogy did. Never really knew where I was going to end up in terms of story and characters, but... Not disappointed at all with this. Uh, just like the 12 and the passage, this thing was really, really well paced. This one probably the, there was a there was a good chunk here uh, in the beginning that was a flashback uh, from one character's perspective, and it felt like we read his entire life. Uh, it's but probably my only negative I'll say about the book. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't there wasn't anything bad with the writing or the story. It just kind of felt at times. I was like, okay, this is the last book in the trilogy. Like, I don't want to spend too much time here. But it, you know, it added a lot of context to one of the characters. Very important character. So, other than that, in the beginning, I thought everything was pretty well paced after that. I liked where the story went. We have another time jump into the future... Two different futures really but i'm not going to try to confuse you with all that but we definitely went a lot more forward in time than i thought we would and our characters are a lot older now so i didn't really see him doing that but it didn't surprise me in the least considering how he likes to jump around these timelines uh yeah i mean i can't really talk too much about it i don't want to spoil anything for anybody so i'll just say uh, it was right there with the 12 in terms of everything that I wanted from it. The action, the suspense, the the mystery, the the character development, the character arcs as a whole, the character endings. All really solid, all really good. Just reinforces the fact that this was a really, really great trilogy. And I, I will continue to recommend it to anybody. Horror fans, sci-fi fans, fantasy fans, you know people maybe looking to get into any one of those genres because yeah it's uh it was well worth the ride i'm really glad i decided to pick up book two and then just decided to dive right into book three i thought it was a really good choice uh in the, the if i ever get around to rereading this trilogy i will definitely just read them all three back to back to back i feel like that will be the best way to do it instead of waiting a year like i did in between books one and two but yeah overall solid solid ending to the series really enjoyed it glad i took the ride let me know if you're a fan of this trilogy or any of these uh which book you thought was the best because they're all pretty close in my opinion i'd probably rank them i'd probably do i'd probably rank them in order the passage the 12 and the city of mirrors but that's not that's not taking anything away from this because i still think this was a really really great book and, a, and an awesome reading experience uh yeah that's all i got the Passage Trilogy. Pick it up, read it. Let me know what you think. 
and be on the lookout for more content.